what's up you guys, Katie Box here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you my 2018 sketchbook. If you've been following me for a while now, you will know that I did one of these last year. This is the sketchbook project as a part of Propel Youth Arts WA. Basically they give you a mini sketchbook and you fill it out over the course of two months, give it back and then it tours around Australia. So this is my 2018 sketchbook. For this sketchbook, for the first half of it, I really just went kind of random and did like different things like working on my skills and for the last half of the sketchbook I did a series of simple sketches of important people I follow online so I hope you're excited to see all of my art. A disclaimer before you look at all of my work some of the works are, have been inspired by things I have seen on Tumblr and things I've seen across the internet I have linked all of the influences for my pieces down in the description. On the first page we have the sketchbook project information page. I have covered it in stickers to make it unique in my own and under about the sketchbook I have written this sketchbook is a mix of work. The first half is a mix of style and design and medium. Pen, scrapbook, sketch, watercolour and acrylic. The second half is a collection of simple pencil sketches of influences in my life. On the first page we have a meet the artist thing. Originally I was going to write out all of the fun facts about myself but in the end I went with this thought cloud. In the top corner we have foods I love. In the bottom corner we have things and hobbies that I love like skating, painting and I'm not quite sure what the other thing is. A bottle of wine? Is that glue? I think it's glue. I think I was in my DIY phase. <laughs> and in the other corner I have sleep, makeup and YouTube. On my next page I have the piece I did on the plane ride from Perth to Langkawi which was the swirling colours of the clouds outside and then I did a scrapbooky page of like tropical holiday pics that would kind of sum up what Langkawi was like. If you would actually like to see what my trip to Langkawi was like, links to the video of that are down in the description. This one is a simple drawing I did of Connie and then I did a really cute pastel daisy kind of vibe next to it. I think this is one of my favourite pages in the entire sketchbook. It looks really cute. On this page I was inspired by a Japanese fashion magazine that I had. For this one we have a simple line drawing of Thomas Sanders and then a quote he once said which is I am the main character of my own story. I think that's a really nice thing to live by. For this page I have taken two parallel scenes from one of my favourite books Misfit. On the left hand side we have a quote from early on in the book where it says he's a forgiving person you two will work things out maybe I don't want to the tear stains on your cheeks say otherwise. And on the right side we have a moment from later on in the book where they've made up and it's really adorable and I love it. I'm not going to go into too many details about what Misfit is but if you want to read it, hit me up. It's great. For this one we have a concept of a piece of art that I've been working on uh, which is summed up by The fairies only grant wishes that are pure. Luckily his wish was purest of all. The basic premise of this story is that there was this guy who found this majestic field of fairies that were made out of flowers and the fairies would grant a wish if it was pure. So he would constantly go back and forth trying to work out what a pure wish was and every time he'd make a wish he would come back and something would go wrong. And then finally he met someone that he fell in love with and he took them to the field of fairies and finally his wish was granted as it was pure. I'll let you interpret that how you will. And I did like a quick little pencil line art drawing of that just to get my ideas out. On this one we've got a black acrylic with white gel marker over the top of a bat in some stars and then some weird drippy lines coming down the other side. I, I don't know how I feel about this page but you know experimenting with styles is always good. Here we have another line out drawing that this time of Ariana Grande. Uh, I really like how I did her jumper and her hair. I'm not really sure if I'm happy with her face but and then I really like how I did the other side with my Faber-Castell paint brush markers. That was really fun. I think this might be one of my favourite pages in the entire sketchbook. I have a simple pencil sketch of one of my favourite pictures of Troy uh, with like a watercolour wash star thing that says touch the sky. Don't know why it says touch the sky. I was being artistic and then on the other side I have this kind of opposite uh, aesthetic with like this explosion of colours and then one of my favourite lyrics from a Troy song, distance makes the heart grow fonder, said by someone stronger than me. Hard hitting. 
you gotta love it. On this one we have a postcard I found with some cute little plants in jars and then down on the right page I drew a bunch of terrariums that I thought looked really cute. For this one I did a an illusion of shattered glass because I just really like the aesthetic of shattered glass and then a drawing of like this hooded figure that steals jewels in the night from uh, Steal My Heart, Steal My Whole Life 2. For these two pages I did one kind of office space that I think sums up how my office kind of is. We've got plants, we've got records, we've got tea, we got an art calendar going on there. That's kind of the vibe that I wish that my office had. On the other one we have this sort of minimalist office space, cork board fairy lights, very tumbler, very aesthetic. I was just filling pages at this point. This is one of those pages where it's midnight the night before you have to hand in the sketchbook and you are just filling it with whatever. So we got some really cute patches that I cut out of a magazine where it says tropical oasis, drift away, spend your days. And then this really cool opposite grid effect thing. Neither of these pages match each other for one, but uh, they kind of look cool, I guess. For these pages, I had some leftover pictures from when I printed pictures out for my 21st birthday party. Links to that video are down in the description. And I've written, always destined to be a figure skater. Me and my figure skates back when I was like eight years old. Look cute baby pictures with best friends forever and then a picture of my brother that says cutie and that completes the first half of the sketchbook from the mixed medium now we move on to the simple sketches part it starts with this open page with some sunflowers one of those sunflower petals was taken from my friend Kat's sunflower that I loved dearly it was great and it says a collection of simple sketches of important influences in my life first up we have Tyler Oakley who was a very important influence when I was 16 years old TK Meinzer makes great music links to all of these people will be down in the description by the way we got Tessa Violet Stevie Biobi I'm not sure how you pronounce her name but she's great Stella Donnelly Perth musician from my hometown. On this page we have Nicole Miller, another great Australian artist. This is another one of my favourite pages in the entire book. It is another drawing of Troy. I just really like drawing Troy. We then have Daniel Howe. Oh my god, I can't imagine that he would ever be an influence in my life. And his counterpart, Phil Lester. Each of them get their own page. They are individual people. Then we then have Connie Glenn, great author, great YouTuber, wrote The Undercover Princess. If you'd like to watch a speed paint of me painting the book cover of her book, links to that down in the description. It's great. One of my favourite records I've ever painted. We have another great musician, Dodie. Love her. Hope she comes to Australia one day. Pixie Locks, great YouTuber, makes kawaii fashion videos. We have Rabel, another musician. Most of these people are musicians. I just really love music. And the last person in this book, Thomas Sanders. And finally, on the last page, another midnight before the sketchbooks were due in expedition. We have some gold, art is risk, and then a ton of glitter. And then, hidden in the back pocket there, we've got a little note for whoever finds it in the sketchbook. So if you live in Australia and live near a library, these sketchbooks may come to you at some point and you can read that note. As I said before, if you live in Australia, these sketchbooks will be touring around to a library near you. I will leave a link down in the description on how you can go see those, but I totally recommend you go check them out. There's some really amazing, talented artists. My parents went to our library in Perth to check out the sketchbooks. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this sketchbook tour of 2018. I hope that I have improved my skills since last year. I hope that I'm able to do this sketchbook project again next year and continue to improve and create some amazing art. If you would like to see some more of my art that aren't necessarily pencil sketches but I do paintings on old vinyl records, I will leave a playlist to all of the paintings I have done down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe for more art and interesting content. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mwah.